about three-fourths of the surface of the continents are sedimentary rocks, ones that are made out of bits and pieces of other rocks. They are also commonly made of fragments of formerly living things, such as shells, coral, and microscopic algae, or in some cases from drying bodies of water that precipitate minerals dissolved in the water. Sedimentary rocks are made of sediment. Think about the places where sediments accumulate, typically in water bodies such as the ocean or lakes. Rivers, glaciers, and wind are three agents of erosion. They move and deposit sediments, which may eventually turn into rock. Sediments, once deposited, can become deeply buried and the individual particles can get cemented together with minerals to form a rock. Common mineral cements, such as quartz, calcite, and iron minerals frequently cement grains of sediment together to create rock. Water sorts sediments by size according to how fast the water is moving. The smallest sediments, clays and silts, get deposited in very still, low-energy environments, such as the bottom of a lake or ocean. When these sediments get buried and compacted, they form the sedimentary rocks, shale or mudstone. Sedimentary rocks reflect the environment in which they were formed. Many sedimentary rocks have layers that record time. Shales from lakes can have annual layers just like rings on a tree. Here is an oil shale from northeastern Utah that was deposited some 50 million years ago under a moist, warm climate in ancient Lake Uinta. This lake occupied the modern Uinta Basin south of the Uinta Mountains. At Lake Uinta, crocodiles were basking in the sun, stingrays swam offshore, and an early lemur-like primate moved amongst the palms and sycamore trees around the lake. These sediments accumulated at the bottom of Lake Uinta. One dark layer and one light layer is one year of sedimentation. Here we have shale from Utah's West Desert. You can see the fine layers that were deposited over time. Sedimentary rocks also contain fossils. This trilobite lived in a warm, shallow ocean that covered western Utah hundreds of millions of years ago. Now let's increase the size of the sediment. Sand grains cemented together make sandstone. This sandstone is from the edge of a giant sand sea that was thousands of feet thick at the center at a time when Utah was mostly a Sahara-like desert. Besides wind-blown sand dunes, sand also piles up due to water, such as beaches and rivers. This sandstone is from a river channel. Increasing sediment size again, we have pebbles. Pebbles and gravel come from much higher energy areas, such as the beaches and steep mountain sides. Glue these pebbles together with a mineral like calcite, and you have the sedimentary rock conglomerate. This recipe is essentially what we do when we make concrete, the most commonly used building material of the modern world. That brings us to our next rock that is also important in the construction of roads and cities. This type of sedimentary rock is not made of eroded pieces of other rocks, but from organisms. Limestone is made of at least half calcium carbonate, or calcite, often made of the skeletons of tiny plankton that continuously rain down and collect on the ocean floor. Limestone can also be made of organisms like coral and seashells. Utah limestones are commonly gray, but can be creamy white or nearly black if they contain a lot of organic material. Since it is at least half calcite, we can identify limestone with the acid test. Coal is another sedimentary rock made from organisms. In this case, plants that lived in warm wetlands or swamps. It burns hot and was important in the Industrial Revolution beginning 200 years ago when we burned coal to run steam engines. Although in a long decline, it is still burned today to produce electricity. Coal is also Utah's state rock because of our history of coal mining. Halite, or common table salt, is a chemical sedimentary rock 
not made of bits and pieces of rock or from organisms, but comes from minerals dissolved in water. In this case, Great Salt Lake. This type of sedimentary rock is common to deserts. This is the mineral halite, common table salt. It's called an evaporite because it precipitated out of the water as the water evaporated. Salt or sodium chloride is mostly what makes seawater salty. It is necessary for life and is historically an important trade item for food and food preservation because it's hard to come by outside of deserts. Gypsum is another chemical sedimentary rock. Remember, sedimentary rocks are made of fragments of other rocks, fossils including coral and seashells, or minerals precipitated in drying bodies of water. Want to learn about metamorphic and igneous rocks and the minerals all rocks are made of? Please watch our other informative videos.